Last week, we lost rap royalty when Earl Simmons, known to everyone as DMX, tragically passed away. He was only 50 years old, and DMX has been on, he had been on life support following a cardiac arrest incident. And his family said in a statement that he was a warrior who fought to the very end. Now, DMX often used his music to speak about his struggles with addiction and his upbringing, selling millions of records and receiving three Grammy nominations. He was also the first musician to have his first five albums reach number one on the Billboard charts. Um, I can remember meeting DMX many times, but the one time that I really remember was um, I, I called Sherry Shepard for something, and she was at an airport in Chicago waiting to take off, and her and DMX were going to a party together. Sherry Shepard, out of all oh, people. Oh, nice. <laughs> and, and so the, the actual plane was delayed, so he ended up taking the phone, and DMX and I just talked, and he... Loved the real. He he said, "I'm gonna get on that show. I'm coming on that show, sis. I'm coming on that show." No way. He loved the real. Yes, he did. He really did. And we wow. talked for like 30 minutes. We laughed. Wow. We prayed. Everything. And so that's gonna always be my memory of DMX, as well as his music. Great music, you know, that I came up through. So it's just a wonderful thing, and it's sad. And I just want to give condolences to his family. Any other Absolutely. memories? Anybody? Absolutely. Um, I just, you know, obviously his music touched me. We, you know, grew up on his music, loved his music. And I just feel like we have to start giving people their flowers before they pass. I really yeah. feel like we have to start doing that. Bill Bellamy, yeah. I did his podcast, and he's like, we need to start doing that. And I thought that's really right on because so many times, you know, when you have a funeral or someone passes, they say a funeral's for the, for the living because the person who's passed can't see the mourning, can't see the love. And I think we have to start doing that and just making people know that they are loved while they're here. So condolences to his family and his legacy will live on. That's right. And yeah, the nice I, thing, I really too, was the verses. Was the yeah. verses that he did with Snoop Dogg. That was really an eye-opening. It was one of his last yeah. appearances, but it was great. Absolutely beautiful. I loved um, what Swiss Beats had to say on his Instagram about who DMX was. I really thought that that was special and significant because, you know, we know people as these performers and the music that they make and the legacy of, you know, the music. But... It was so great to hear him speak about DMX, the person, and the big heart that he had, and um, how his heart was, you know, to pray for other people, to always put others before himself. And I thought that that was really special, hearing it, especially from someone as close to him, like Swiss Beats. So I thought that was absolutely beautiful. If you get a chance, check it out. It's on Instagram. It really gives you a glimpse into who DMX, the person, and the soul was. Definitely. Yeah, if anything, just remember to embrace one another and hold each other tighter, especially yeah. if you know somebody going through addiction. It's, in a, it's a very long, lonely road. So please keep close with those people and, and let them know you love them. Again, condolences to his family. You can check out the verses if you have IG. It's a wonderful verses with him and Snoop Dogg. Just go to the uh, Versus um, Instagram account.